Many believed it would never happen, but early this morning the first flights for Knock were on Dublin Airport's departure screens, and a check-in desk was opened for passengers, mainly press and television crews, who would be on board the first jet aircraft to land in Knock. As thousands of spectators began to arrive at Connacht Regional Airport for what has been described as one of the greatest days in the history of the west of Ireland, the flight crew were making their final preparations. The weather in Knock was hazy, but visibility seemed to be improving all the time. In Dublin, Captain Bagnall would make his decision based on the latest weather report. And pressure 1030 decibels. Okay, John, that's fine. We'll have an on time departure. An on time departure. The takeoff was on time, and as the St. Eunan flew west, the pilots made their first contact with Knock Airport. Visibility was still poor, but not bad enough to stop the landing. Just 25 minutes after leaving Dublin, the aircraft was lining up for its final approach. On the ground, the excitement increased as the aircraft was first heard and then seen flying in through the mist. Speed brakes to gas and to reverse. This was the day the people of the West had been waiting for for years. No longer would Knock be a practice ground for drivers, and Monsignor Horn was the man of the day. We're very proud of our pilots from Mayo as well. Over, over here. Yeah. And where are you from? Yourself? They have the makings of a very fine, uh, uh, small airport here. Uh, many airports we operate to don't have the facilities that they appear to be uh, providing here. I came because I have very many friends in Mayo. And also last year I was involved in the choosing of the Mayo Men of the Year. And you know who that was, the Monsignor himself. I'm delighted to have been on the first flight to arrive in Knock. Did you ever think um, when you were growing up in Mayo that you would one day fly into an airport in Knock? Never. <laughs> Never for one moment. It's great. Well, as one of the signs here says, Monsignor Horan has got his wings at last. Behind me, the first passengers are being led out from Knock Airport on board the Boeing 737, the first aircraft to land in Connacht Regional Airport. The weather's improving and hopefully within about a half an hour or so, the first 707 will land again to take charter passengers out to Rome. You're fine, you're fine. 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 you must really get things done for themselves. We mustn't be depending on the people in Dublin to show us what we can do. We must do things for ourselves. It was just after 11 o'clock when the 737 taxi back onto the runway. As it lined up for takeoff and senior forward. Well, all the Saints, all the Irish Saints have been the same this now, and all the Irish Saints and, <laughs> and, and all the Irish Saints will help us to bring it, bring it the full circle, and that we will really get get a lot of. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, support. When you look across there at the at the hundreds on the hills and yes. on the opposite side of the runway, out to the perimeter. It reminds me of the papal visit. <laughs> That's right. It reminds me of the papal visit when, when the hills at Knock were covered with people. Uh, I, I, I see crowds and crowds of people over there on the hills, and I'm glad that they have a, an opportunity of viewing this aircraft taking off. The historic first takeoff from Knock. Even as the 737 disappeared into the mist, a 707 was approaching. Only 15 minutes after the first plane had left, the second arrived, and another was on its way. A busy day in Knock. <laughs>